what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Caucasian hip hop producer by the name of J.W. Lucas is going viral. They say he's worked with the likes of The Baby and Lil Uzi Vert. He took to Twitter and addressed his followers by saying, why is the world asking for justice for Breonna Taylor? Of course, she shouldn't have lost her life, but do you realize that she was involved with multiple drug dealers who were using her house as a trap spot. If you sign up for that life, there are consequences. It is terrible Brianna lost her life. And as I said earlier, I believe the cops may have mishandled the raid and been too aggressive after being fired on. With that being said, what is the punishment the world is calling for? Those men were on the job and have families as well. He later apologized, but the damage was done. The universe went in on him. Call him everything but a child of God, which leads me to believe that the universe is right. He cannot be made in God's likeness whatsoever, making these type of statements. He later went on Instagram Live and had it out with Tamika Mallory, who was one of the organizers of the 2017 Women's March. And she also uh, was recently arrested in Louisville protesting for Breonna Taylor. This dude fixed his raggedy ass mouth to say that he is more qualified than Tamika Mallory to represent Black Lives Matter. Totally disrespectful. What make this fucker think that he can do a better job representing black folks than a black woman who is on the front lines already? Like she's already putting the work in. She's already getting death threats, risking her life. She must be doing something right because they don't come at you like that if you're just some peon, if you're doing nothing. They don't come at you like that. They don't, you don't get the threats. You don't get your inboxes inundated and you don't get uh, letters to your mailing address. Uh, you don't have to fortify your home uh, 10 times watch your back everywhere you go. If you're not a threat, I can guarantee you that this sucker is not a threat like that. And he not riding for black folks because you would never fix your mouth to say something like that if he was really in tune with what was going on. You know what it sounds like? This sounds, he sounds like one of those white dudes who's just mad that people are protesting because they are asking for and demanding equality, uh, a stake in this economic game, uh, a stake in this humanity game. He's mad. He's one of those white people who would own slaves if he could. He's one of those white people that's mad that slavery is over. I can guarantee you. I've seen the type. There is no way that you could be a decent person and be mad about people protesting for civil rights. There is no way you could be upset about that. And to try to smear the name of a woman who was in her bed, sleep, minding her own damn business. And he tried to say that, well, I ain't say that she deserved to die. Well, tell me what the hell is this? Of course, she shouldn't have lost her life. But do you realize that she was involved with multiple drug dealers who were using her house as a trap spot? If you sign up for that life, there are consequences. First of all, 
There's zero evidence that Breonna Taylor's house was being used as a trap house. Furthermore, by this idiot's logic, if someone is dating a drug dealer, the police get a pass for busting into their home and murdering them in cold blood. This sucker is trying to justify her death and trying to make sure that the cops get off. He's basically saying, well, you know, I feel like they was aggressive after being fired on, but he's missed a small little detail that they uh, kicked in these folks' house and they were looking for somebody who was not at their house, somebody who was already in police custody, somebody who did not live at that house. So that means that anybody who visits your house, sometimes people come to your house, it might be somebody working in, in some other capacity. It may be a, a friend who stops by your house with a friend or a relative or whatever. You don't know what every single person is into that walks through your damn door. You, uh, your, your door, you don't know every single detail of that person's day, week, month. You don't know. And who's to say that the police was right in the first place with who they was looking for in the first place? And I'll tell you this, the reason why they haven't uh, arrested these officers or charged these officers is because this problem is deeper than Breonna Taylor. This is a culture of the Louisville Police Department. It's a culture and it's more cases that are going to come to light after this. This is what's taking so long because they got to look at all these other cases too. They, man, hey fam, it don't take that long. They're not investigating. They already got all the evidence they need. They got enough to make an arrest. They don't want to make an arrest. Now, what these other officers have on their superiors, I don't know. But they got enough evidence to make the arrest. They have enough information to make the arrest. So he's, uh, his position is, well, since she was, she dated multiple drug dealers, there is no evidence that the guy that was living at the house who fired on the cops first for busting into their house and, you know, in the middle of the night, not announcing themselves. There's no evidence that this man ever sold drugs. So this is one of them self-righteous little punks who read a couple books and think he know everything. And he's probably hanging out around some black rappers who allowed him to even use the N-word because he got to be one emboldened bastard to be talking to Tamika Mallory like that. Be talking to any black woman like that, but especially somebody like that that's on the front lines. Tamika Mallory is protected. That's what you gotta know, sucker. And I know you're gonna see this video. I'm not about to go back and forth with you on social media lip wrestling. I'm gonna say what I got to say and tell you to be safe. This ain't cool at all, bro. He's saying that she deserved to die. That is what he's saying. So you can't clean that up and know your ass is not more qualified. You can't lead a damn Cub Scout group talking about leading a damn black uh, movement. The hell are you gonna do, lead us off a cliff? Because we know you ain't got no real love for us. You couldn't to be talking that reckless. You couldn't to be so dismissive of a frontline soldier. She's putting the work in. What the fuck have you done? Nothing. This is a dude who is pissed off that black folks are out here protesting and white folks are out here protesting. And he wants things to get back to normal as soon as possible. He's trying to get back to the status quo. Hey man, just take it. I can guarantee you, if you look down his timeline, which I'm sure somebody will by now, or have done by now, go down that timeline, and I bet you you can find case after case after case of police shootings where he took the police side. This ain't hard to see, man. 
When somebody tell you who they are, you got to believe them. And this dude is a bona fide, redneck, low down, dirty ass, culture vulture racist. J. Dud, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.